happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah the polls are in guys biden is down why you may ask because he can't quit saying stuff like this uh, we're gonna hop straight into this video guys and see exactly what biden said make sure you guys hit that like button for me before we even get into it hit that like button hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth guys hop aboard for the journey let's get into it Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. All right, folks, so I'm going to start this video very specifically. I'm going to start this video with a couple words. Here it goes. Dear black people, I hope you're paying attention, and I hope this video and this information finds you well. I hope you're listening with an open mind and, more importantly, an open heart. It's time to have a conversation about Joe Biden. So here's the thing, or here's the question that I have. When is enough going to be enough? How much insult until it becomes injury? You realize Democrats don't care about you, right? You realize that everything Joe Biden says and promises to you is empty, right? Joe Biden's right. support from black voters <laughs> continues to dwindle. I'd argue rightly so, but his approval rating with black voters is still 60 plus percent. The question I'm asking myself Wait, is what? how? How is that even remotely possible? You do realize that everything Joe Biden says and does in regards to courting the black vote is a complete scam, right? There's only one word to describe it pander or pandering everything these people do everything these top democrats do to target black voters is empty shallow and manipulative it's been three years of joe biden and kamala harris in office they have passed zero legislation to make your life better they've passed zero targeted legislation they've made everyone's standard of living and lives worse and they've done absolutely nothing to target community inequality let's call it historic inequality. They love to call it systemic racism. I think it's historic inequality. And sure, something can and probably should be done to do it. But if you think for a second that the Democrats are going to be the ones to do it, in my opinion, you're simply not paying attention. The Democrats care about one thing and one thing alone, getting your vote in an election season. It's been three years, they've done nothing. And now all of a sudden, as Joe's support from black voters is dwindling, they've come up with a new strategy. And that strategy is the most pathetic empty, vapid, pandering campaign I think we've ever seen, or at least we've seen since Hillary Clinton's infamous hot sauce moment. I want to have a conversation about this. We've got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks. I want to first start off with this MSNBC clip where Joe Scarborough makes the point that if you compare Donald Trump and Joe Biden and their public appearances, that Donald Trump is the one that's, quote, cognitively impaired. And again, Rev, he's talking about Joe Biden being cognitively impaired. He looks cognitively impaired. Well, yeah, apparently when you listen to the former president speak and the current president speak, it's obvious that Joe Biden's the competent guy and Donald Trump, well, he's the moron. I'm literally laughing as I'm saying that. But then you listen to Joe Biden speak. I'm representing the groundbreaking legacy of hip hop in America, LLJ Cool J. Uh, like, come on, man. By the way, you that boy's that. got, he got man's got biceps bigger than my thighs. I think he's been... Not only is Joe Biden obviously the one who's cognitively impaired, but Joe Biden is also the biggest political rat. This is their new campaign strategy to court black voters. Hip hop. Giving LL Cool J, which Joe Biden doesn't even know who he is or how to pronounce his name, LLJ Cool J. He then, by the way, called him boy. And that's the totally not cognitively impaired strategy to get your vote. You know, the words that I keep saying, right? Manipulative, vapid, empty pandering? I mean, it's right in front of you. The writing is on the wall. In politics in general, people have important issues. People have actual dilemmas. Right now, people are skipping meals or not paying their electricity bill so they could afford to buy groceries. People are having their cars repoed. They can barely afford to keep a roof over their head. And Joe Biden's messaging campaign to black voters is, yo, I'm down with the hip hops. And no, it's not one isolated situation. It really it's feels true, as though this is like the new strategy. And they seem to be using Kamala Harris as the proxy or the vessel. It started back on Charlemagne the God show where Kamala Harris all of a sudden was down with the hip hops and smoking the reefer. What Thanks. do you listen to? Because I know she has to go. So what does Kamala Harris listen to? What were you what listening to when you was high? Uh <laughs> what was on? What song was 
Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, definitely Snoop. Uh huh. Uh, Tupac, Tupac for sure. Oh, she used to listen to Tupac and Snoop Dogg, even though Tupac and Snoop Dogg literally weren't even a thing when she was in college. It started with that, and now it's Kamala Harris sitting down with Quavo from the Migos. <laughs> Or Kamala Harris dancing and grooving. Or Kamala Harris dancing and grooving. It's funny how these clips and these moments the only started to appear once Kamala Harris was kind of like that token person to appeal to particular voters. Or here's Kamala Harris after a half a century, it is clear hip hop will not be erased. Hip hop is here to stay. Welcome to the first ever hip hop house party at the home of the vice president of the United States. Hip hop is the ultimate American art form. It is clear, hip hop is here to stay. Kamala Harris celebrating the 50 year anniversary, I think it's something like that, of hip hop music. Look, not exactly a big deal, like really not a big deal at all, if it was genuine, authentic, but it's obviously not, right? When is Kamala Harris's political identity throughout her entire political career? I mean, we're talking about decades in politics. When has it ever revolved around hip hop? There's only one answer to that question, never. Literally mm. never. In fact, Kamala Harris was the person putting young black men in prison for simple possession charges. Now all of a sudden, Kamala Harris has adopted an image that she's down with the streets, yo. I mean, look, I'm not black, so I'm not gonna pretend to speak for black people, but hypothetically, if I was black, I could- I'm gonna go ahead and speak for black people. I'm gonna speak for myself, at least, as a black man. This is not cool, what the heck, dude? I, I see what she's trying to do, too. Like, she is not that person. And then she's saying, like, on The Breakfast Club that she, you know, uh, participate. She smoked back in her day and she was listening to Snoop. And, let, you know, she's just trying to be, like, be a part of, you know, the black culture, fit in enough with the minorities, enough to get the vote. You know what I mean? And that's what she knows. Not only do, you know, blacks admire hip hop, hop you know, I feel like hip hop is more influential, you know, along minorities and just... I feel like every group, so if you can get, you know, um, I feel like, you know, the hip hop crowd, just the crowd that follows hip hop, not even black people, just like the hip hop crowd to follow you, I feel like you get, you know, a lot of the minority and, you know, some of um, the other votes too, just based off of the hip hop crowd. So she, I see what she's trying to do, but that is not cool. Man. That's so manipulative. She's not she's not that person. She's not that I'm not going to pretend to speak for black people, but Let's hypothetically if I was black, I couldn't think of many things much more insulting. The implication is now. that you don't vote based on economic issues, based on important topics that are relevant to your standard of living. No, you vote based on identity and skin color. That's why Joe Biden said, if you don't vote for me, then you ain't black. I mean, what a deeply, deeply offensive idea. They're not mobilizing money and opportunity. There's no for platinum Trump plan policies. for black America. There's no plan at all. Policies. It's just LLJ Cool J dancing, celebrating hip hop, going on Charlemagne the God show, or having some random celebrity, part of the hip hop community, endorsing them. Last time it was Cardi B, although she's seemed to have had at least a small political reawakening lately. And now it's Quavo or Snoop Dogg. I just want to say this real quick, man, on the political shit. Ain't no fucking way in the world y'all can vote for Donald Trump when he come back up again. If it is, if y'all do vote for him, y'all some stupid motherfuckers. I'm saying that to y'all. And this punk motherfucker don't care. Don't vote for that nigga. Please don't. Frankly, it's insulting. I mean, come on. It's so insulting. There's no plan. And so you're faced with two options. There's Republicans who... To a certain extent, yeah, they're not going to pander to you because it's a completely different worldview. The Republican worldview is to create an open economy that works for everybody, to get government out of the way, to create more opportunity for everyone regardless of skin color. And of course, there's the Democrat strategy, which is what we outlined in this video. You know, it's a choose your path moment. There's left and there's right. There's two roads. There's two walking paths. 
Pick one, Wanderer. The right choice seems very much obvious. Strong policy that doesn't target based on identity, that doesn't discriminate, or the soft bigotry of low expectations, empty promises, empty pandering, and a whole load of nothing. Yo, there we have it, guys. Shouts to Liberal Hive Mind for coming at us with this. I didn't even know this was going on, um, whereas, you know, Biden's trying to, you know, persuade the like, or get the the black vote by fitting in along with you know kind of just using Kamala as an extra extension like an extension arm to you know a connection to the black community it just that's not right man that's not how you go about doing that especially if that's not what you were before you know you needed the black vote if you if you weren't that before you needed the black vote don't try to be that now um that is pretty offensive to say that since you're black, you know, you associate it with hip hop, you're going to vote based off of who associates with hip hop. And so that's not when I vote, I vote based off of policies, you know, open economy. I want everyone to be inclusive. I want, you know, um, secure borders. I want, you know, uh, that are, our, 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 you know, um, our expend our foreign expenditures. I want that to be correct. I want, you know, America first policies. I want, you know, bringing jobs back to America. I, I, it's certain certain, you know, policies and things that you look for. You know, gun control, things of that nature. You know, it's all it's it's all kinds of policies I look for in, in uh, a candidate, and he want and they want to sum it up to be that if you listen to hip hop, you down with LLJ Cool J, then I'm a vote for. Now, come on, now get that out of here. That's exactly why the polling is how it is right now, uh, with Biden being down on the poll. I'm surprised to see that. You know, um, I can't remember what what exactly he said, but somehow Biden. Um, Oh, Biden's approval rate among black voters is still about 60 percent, which was a pretty surprising. I don't know if that's, you know, I'm not sure what the scope or the scale of was that, you know, that uh, or the sample size of that polling. But I, I feel like that may not be correct because Biden's disapproval rate or his approval rate is just it's it's down. It's really down. Um, I don't think he's getting reelected. There's no chance. Um, and the Dems even know that they're, you know, scrambling to find another candidate that can po possibly challenge um, Donald Trump. So we'll, we'll see what's going on, guys. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Yo, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth, guys. Hop aboard for the journey. Y'all catch you guys on the next one. We go.